Hey guys, so this is going to be a very quick video. Um, I have been getting this question quite a bit and it is, is Reborns child friendly? Are they good for kids? You know, like let's say, you know, 12 and under. Um, yes, and I want to do another one really quickly. So, um, <laughs> so the question is, 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 are they child friendly? Um, and do I recommend you buying Reborns for children? So this is a very um, personal choice, um, but I will give you the facts. Um, Reborns were not designed for children. They are adult art dolls. But however, if you feel that your child is mature enough to handle these expensive dolls then by all means you should get your child one if you want them to have it now one thing i would like for your parents to consider is that these dolls have glass beads inside um for the most part and polyfill so um a small child if they disconnect the the doll or any kind of way you know please understand that there are small glass beads that can be dangerous and harmful to your child um now you can ask for them to put poly pellets or something else in them or you know maybe your child won't take it apart you know what i mean um if the child is you know and the dolls can be kind of heavy so maybe if you let the artist know if it's a custom you know it's for a child they can weight it light you know so that the baby child be able to carry it maybe a premium or newborn size which would be smaller in size um i would say that i would not leave the doll out like all the time for the child to play with but only times where i'm kind of watching and supervising maybe while we're having family time and they want to play with the doll or whatever that way you can kind of monitor because the hair is sealed however um if they brush real hard or comb real hard they can still pop the hair off um, so a lot of those things are something that you want to consider. They have magnets in the head as well. And you know that magnets does not do well next to computers and electronics. So you might want to keep that in mind when they're playing with it all around your phones and stuff like that. I haven't had any problems with that, but you know, it is something to think about. So are they child friendly? They are as friendly if you, as you want them to be. If you can afford to spend $300, $500 and not be upset and and beat, and beat your child when they tear it up, then that's definitely on you. Um, and maybe they won't, won't because, like I said, I've been playing with dolls all my life. And I think the youngest I remember I had to be about five or six and I as far as I can remember I've never tore up any of my dolls and I've never Mommy, I, love you. I love you too and I've never um like ruined any of them or anything like that so some you're just gonna know your child um especially if, if the child loves dolls they're gonna take care of it for the most part but just be aware of what you're actually getting into um but yeah, so I just wouldn't start them off with something very, very expensive. Now, silicone babies, that's a whole nother uh, subject. I definitely would not buy a child a silicone baby under the age of 12. Um, may, I don't know. Maybe because these kids nowadays are a lot more mature. Um, maybe 10 and I don't know if they really, again, I would have to watch them with it. But I think 12 and up. Yeah, I think they would be fine with it. Um, and also, a lot of parents are a little reluctant about their kids playing with such lifelike dolls. Because I don't know why, but um, for me, I just feel like it's better them to play with dolls than to play with boys. <laughs> um, and also, um, some people think, oh, it's going to encourage them to want to be a young mother. Um, actually, I think not. I think that they just will enjoy the dolls. And um, if you really feel that way, then maybe when you do give them the doll, um, give them one of do like that um, baby think it over or 
uh, type deal. Like you put timers on it and make them have to do things with it, you know, like real babies and show them that, you know, okay, these dolls don't require stuff, but real babies do. It's just a lot of ways. It's all about your upbringing and stuff like that. I don't think that there's any harm with kids collecting dolls. Um, if my, my teenager, which she is kind of interested in, you know, the dolls or whatever, if she wanted to have a doll and she's up in age, um, I would definitely prefer to give her a doll so she can go through college. And <laughs> hey, if you want it to look like you and your boyfriend at 19, I don't care because that's not a live, you know, real baby. And I just, I don't know. I just prefer that um, that they, they play with dolls until they're ready for the real thing. Um, so... Um, or even after, I mean, some, some children are going to be just like us. They're just going to want to collect dolls just because they like them. They're cute. They want to dress them up. They want to play with them. They want to set them up. They want to take pictures of them. You know, it's something to post on Instagram, Snapchat and all that great stuff. So anyway, guys, I know that this video is kind of boring. You guys are just looking at these two babies. So I am going to stop right here and tell you guys to enjoy, enjoy your day. And, uh, we'll see you later. Right, Gabby? Bye-bye.